Alrighty, folks. Welcome on back to Darksiders 2. I actually get a la add a letter, letter to the end of that, or a number to the end of that now. <laughs> it's whatever it's called. Anyway, I have fixed our several of our issues, actually. One of which is the wall climbing. Uh, another was the options menu white screen. Uh, I had to turn off vibrations and turn on V-Sync in order to get both to work properly. I don't know why, it's just that's what works. So I can now actually crawl around like I'm supposed to and uh, not die. What was that? Did you really just slide down the wall? All right. That sounds great. I tried going up just a little bit and instead of going up, he kind of slid down the wall. It was very weird. Okay, we're above ground, so that's good. The camera keeps randomly just flipping around as well, which is interesting to say the least. The camera kind of has a mind of its own. So, if I have the camera positioned like here, for example, and I run forwards, it goes... Okay, fine. It didn't do anything. But yeah, see there? Like, I don't do anything, and it was it was going back and forth. The camera definitely has a mind of its own. But at least we can climb on vines now. <laughs> at least there's that. <laughs> All right, I got to go this way and then up. All right. Up it is. There we go. Ooh, hello. That looks like a huge clock. I think it might be a huge clock. So what you're saying is, you shall not pass. Oh, I bet that felt good. Here, your brethren are trapped in eternal torment. Do you wish to join them? And what of war? Would you kill your brother to save your precious balance? He is innocent. Are you so certain? Yep. I'm definitely certain. Hello, war. Oh, 
Okay. I think F is... Yeah, F is straight up focus. All right. Hey, I dodged that. Hey, I dodged that one too. Dang it. So I can't attack when he does those. I can attack after the fact. Well, that didn't work. But that's not an actual button. You realize that, right? And I love how sound effects are so quiet, but they're not so quiet. Oh, I dodged into that one. All right, war. Dang. I haven't seen you do that yet. I gotta quit getting hit. I think I'm waiting too long to dodge. Seriously? I have to use another potion? Whoop, whoop. Q is not potion. One is potion. Come on. There we go. Got war. These are so quiet. <laughs> but I don't have an option to turn them up in the cutscenes. Just down. So evidently that's a yes. We would defeat war. Ow. That would hurt. Your secrets die with you. Oh fool. My secrets are not yours. I couldn't remember how that got there. Crow Carrion. We'll look at that here in a moment. Death can extend wall runs by vaulting over stuff. Be still, horseman. You are wounded. Don't touch me. Your arrival here is a bad omen. Yes. Troubles me greatly. Old one, there's more trouble ahead if you don't start making sense. Where is the tree of life? Life? <laughs> this world is dying, lad. Choking on chaos and corruption. 
We can do little to stop it. Soon, the great tree too shall perish, and with it, the last of my people. Is that not what brought you here, Pale Rider? I seek the tree, for chaos and corruption don't concern me. I wouldn't be so sure about that. It seems they do concern me. There we go. Oh, we're still in focus mode. That would explain why I couldn't turn the camera, huh? You still hit me? At this point, my mic cuts out. I don't notice till the end of the episodes. We're going to try to do this. Uh, anyway, yes, the finishers still work the way that they're supposed to. And let's see here. Let's see if we can't get these guys real quick. Oh, there's still two of them? Man. Why do we always have to fight multiples of these guys? All right, so that guy's gone. You fight well, but this corruption can't be beaten with a blade. Seek out the Forge Sister. Ask her about the fire of the mountain. Help her, and she will help you reach the tree. As for me, I must return to my work. I love how that still is in there with the mouse. And who are you to command a rider? I am a maker. Older than even the Charred Council. These hands have laid the foundations for many worlds. But that was long ago. And now, they but hardly know the touch of stone. Are you not curious as to why I seek the tree? I would not presume to question one of the four. But yes, tell me. I must restore humanity to redeem war. Heaven and hell battle upon the shattered earth. All creation trembles. And at the center of it all, stands your brother he is innocent i never said he wasn't the tree holds power over life and death if you would resurrect humanity then you are headed in the right direction be warned a dark presence dwells now within the tree and the path is barred by corruption well of course it is why would they make it easy on us the corruption that we have nothing to do with right well, let's get back here as we level up. We get a skill point, which is awesome. So you have leveled up. Every level grants a skill point, which is used to purchase new abilities. Press O to enter the character menu. So we can choose between teleport slash and exhume. Uh, exhume is death summons bloodthirsty ghouls from beyond the grave to fight alongside him. Costs 300 wrath. We get two ghouls, and they deal three damage per attack. Teleport Slash. Death teleports across, across the battlefield and delivers a violent scythe attack that deals damage and restores health. Costs 200 wrath, does 93 to 109 damage, and we get 10% of health back. Um, we're going to go with Exhume, just because that side of the tree is fun, and I do believe the two sides are mutually exclusive. Um, I could be wrong. We also are going to go through our inventory here real quick. Technically, the hammer here is slightly better than our axe that we have, uh, but I like the way that the axe works, so we leave the axe equipped. Also, we have new wraps that are actually worse than... Oh, no, we had two wraps. One that was four defense and one that was one defense. Um, yeah, the camera zips around really quick, but there is a treasure chest back here. But we've purchased a new skill. Press tab to access the radial menu and use the skill or press the bound button. So, we've got Exhume. And I do believe it pauses the game while we do that. That's kind of cool. I was like, okay, but what, what bound button? And I kept pressing the wrong buttons. So we go back in here. I try to see if there's a way that I can bind it to something. If it's right click, escape. Um, I don't know what it is. Reperform is V, by the way. Okay, that's good to know. I caught that. And Dust, Dust is the little bird that we always see flying around. He's the little blue circle on the mini-map. 
But let's get into this treasure chest and see what we get. We get at least a health potion and some money. And I decide here that I would honestly rather have to pick everything up instead of have it auto-collect. So I turn off auto-collect. Uh, and then we're going to do just a little tiny bit of exploration, see if there's anything else in here, which it doesn't look like there is, just some corruption. Me playing with the camera and having issues with it. And uh, at about this time I'm going, okay, well... If it wouldn't follow us directly behind, it might be a little easier. So I go into options. There's a thing called camera auto center. <laughs> I turned it off. So much better. <laughs> I can now actually control the camera and everything. So let's get going over to the next area. Go through the nice little cave. So we already found out about the map. We already found out that we can use O to open the map and get it taken care of. Uh, and over here, we've got dust sitting on a tunnel of petrified wood. Or at least it looks like petrified wood. Now, welcome to Tristone. This is essentially the Maker's Terrace. Um... We can buy gear, we can buy talismans, we can buy abilities, we can... There's a lot of stuff we can do here. And of course, you know, I freak out and I'm like, okay, how did we get here? But then there's the tree that we came through. So, let's break all of these. Most of them have gold of some sort in them, um, which is nice. They do tend to respawn as well, so sometimes you can go through and... Um, like, you can come back after being out for a while and get some extra gold. Sometimes. And then I remember something about these posts. That you can damage them or you do something. But I don't remember what it is or how to do it. So yeah, we just keep going around destroying pots. And there's another barrel up there that I think I forget to get. Yes, I do. <laughs> so let's talk real quick. It's about time you came. The makers are dying, and our realm. We few are all that remain. A warrior's life is never easy, old one. Aye, not easy, but simple. I always saw my end with blade in hand, a field of enemy dead before me. And what glorious end awaits you hiding behind these gates? Uh, you cannot fight corruption, nor can you harm it. You can only kill those it has claimed. Every blow I strike against corruption is a blow against my own people. Muse on that rider before you mock me as a So we're not going to fight him. We're just going to instead come in here and get Harvester's Revenge, which is the alt left click attack that I was missing that I tried to use a couple times and it didn't work. <laughs> um, I also found out that you can't use WAS and D to move around. I can either drag it down with that, or I find out a little bit later uh, that you can use the arrow keys. And there we test it out. Anyway, I do believe he was in, was at the end of Darksiders 3 in the Tree of Life. Uh, seriously, I walk right past that pot too. Man, I'm just doing great today. There's a couple things that we're going to have to go back and get next episode. <laughs> Which is perfectly fine. Uh, I do look around. The only thing that I see on this side is a, another uh, area that I can go to and get something. Uh, and it's just a pot. That's all there is. Just a pot. There's nothing else there. There wasn't even anything in the pot. So, let's go up and talk to one of the sisters. I believe the first one that we talked to is the shaman. So let's go see what she might have to say. Well, whenever we get there. <laughs> there are a whole bunch of other pots that I've seen now that I need to go break. We've been awaiting your arrival, horseman. Your shadow has long hovered over this realm. Many know the Reaper, old one, but I don't know you. We are the builders of this world. 
But corruption seethes at its heart and destroys in days what we shaped over eons. Adar does his best to soothe our pain, but our souls yearn for only one comfort. Death, we are without hope. Horseman, do you ever doubt your future? No. So one like yourself would set out to change a fate that displeases him. That is a long and dangerous path, even for death himself. How is that your concern, shaman? Only that I am skilled at crafting talismans. If you gather the proper materials and return them to me, I'll make a potent talisman to aid you on your journey. What do you require? Stalker's bone, mordant dew, and carven stone. It is not a simple charm. Where can I find them? Somewhere in the Forge Lands. I rarely leave Tristone, but that Pup Khan is always out exploring. He can tell you more, no doubt. Tell me, Shaman. What is corruption? I only know what I fear it to be. That corruption is hate given life. And that hate does not come from trees or stones, but from ourselves. You despair, old one, and yet raise life from the earth. I am a shaman, bound to this task even as our days darken. We are as the vines, coming to root, then to flower, and then to decay, dropping seeds upon the dust, a circle everlasting. I cannot stop it, nor can I stop you. Tell me more about the Tree of Life. The forest around the tree has been corrupted. It hungers. You cannot reach the tree, not with breath still in you. The path of a brother troubles you. It is your past, but also your future. The pauldrons of the horsemen. Uh, she gave us the pauldrons that say the path of the brother troubles you. She said it is your past. Stone, wood, iron. These are the gifts that the makers. There are new talismans. For Didn't quite make it through. However, we can get some nice stuff here. Um, some of it we'll find while we're out and about. Some of it we won't. And I couldn't go sideways, but there's our health and wrath potions. It is also at this time that I realize that my mic is dead. So we are going to end the episode off here. I hope you folks have enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button down below. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and checking out some of my other content. And as always, I will catch you folks in the next episode. Stay frosty out there.